Hello everyone, welcome back to iMyPhone channel. Have you ever seen the message, iTunes is downloading the software for this iPhone and will restore your iPhone when the download is complete? Or your Mac is downloading a software update for this iPhone and will install it when the download is complete? After iOS 14 was released, more and more people complained about this issue. So today, we'll introduce four methods to solve the problem. Method one, update iTunes or Finder to the latest version. Method two, force restart iPhone. Method three, restore or update iPhone with recovery mode. Method four, use a third party tool. Let's start with method one, update iTunes or Finder to the latest version. If you're using Finder or iTunes on Mac, go to the App Store and check whether there's an update. If you're using iTunes on Windows, click Help in the menu and then click Check for Updates. Follow the instructions to install the latest version of your iTunes. If you don't see the button Check for Updates, it means you download iTunes from the Microsoft Store and the store will automatically update it for you. After installing the latest iTunes or Finder, you can try to update or restore iPhone again. If the problem still exists, try method two. The method to force restart iPhone varies between iPhone models, and I'll only show you how to do it on iPhone 8 or later models. You can find more detailed steps for all models in the video on the top right corner. For iPhone 8 or later models, let's quickly press and release the volume up button and then volume down button. Finally, press and hold the side button until you see the Apple logo. Now try to restore or update your iPhone again. If the two methods above fail, you can put your device into recovery mode and then restore or update it again. As restoring iPhone will erase all your data, please remember to back up your iPhone before doing this. Let's get your iPhone into recovery mode first. Again, only the steps for iPhone 8 or later models are shown here. Go to the video on the top right corner for steps for all other models. For iPhone 8 or later models, quickly press and then release the volume up button and then volume down button. Finally, keep holding the side button and do not release it when you see the Apple logo. Let it go when you see the recovery mode screen. Now you should launch the iTunes or Finder and connect your iPhone with the computer. When you see the two buttons update and restore on the pop-up window, you can choose the one you want and confirm your action. Waiting for several minutes, you will see whether iTunes can finish the whole process normally. Unfortunately, if you can't bypass the issue after trying all the methods above, the third-party tool iMyPhone FixPo is the final resort for you. It can handle most of the iOS issues without data loss. Just let me show you how to use it. First, download and launch the FixPo on your computer. I've put the link in the description in case you need it. After that, choose Standard Mode and connect your iPhone with the computer and then click on Next. After the software detects your iPhone, you can choose a firmware version and then hit download. Here, if you intend to update your iPhone in the very beginning, you can choose the newest version. If you intend to restore your iPhone first, choose any version you like when there are more than two options. When the download finishes, click start and wait for the program to repair your iPhone. Now you can see the successful message on the screen, and your iPhone can now be updated or restored normally. Okay, that's all for this video. Today, four methods are provided to solve your problem, and you can choose the most suitable one according to your needs. Good luck! If you find this video helpful, just subscribe to our channel for more tips on iPhone problems. See you in the next video.